All right, I'm going to show you one really quick thing right now called ducking. Now, ducking is when you want, we have multiple audio tracks like I have here. You're going to probably want one in the foreground, one kind of in the background. You want one to be louder than the other. So I have one here of me speaking, and I have this music in the back that I want to be in the background. So the way I can help this, I can go through and maybe adjust the volume, but one easy way is just use these up and down arrows here to do what's called ducking. You can duck one audio behind another one. So if I place push up on this one, that's going to place it in the foreground. It's going to make it the loudest of them, so it should be the one that I hear. If I hit the down arrow here, that should mean that it's now ducked in the back. So this tool here should make it so that this is in the front and then this is kind of in the back. Now, you also have to listen to it and check to see if that worked. I'm recording my audio and I can see how this looks a lot different. And you can see that that sound, the music, was in the background. I could hear it, but it wasn't overpowering the text, or the spoken word here. So, ducking is a very quick and easy thing you can do. If that doesn't work, check the video how to change the volume manually, um, or do a fade in, fade out, whatever you need to do that. But ducking here, up, so it's the front, down to the back. The front is going to be the focal point. The back is going to be a little quieter, kind of the background noise.